Question that comes up is how do I add a terms and conditions a checkbox to a checkout form? It's actually so easy. You can do it visually. It'll just take you a moment and I'm going to show you how to do it right now. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to our form. And here is the form that I'm going to add this checkbox to. And you see when I scroll down, uh, there's no agree to terms and conditions and all that kind of stuff here, but that's okay. We're going to add this uh, very easily uh, right now. So let me check. Uh, click on a field and then click on the block inserter right here. Let's scroll down. So we have actually two ways of doing this. And these are just components that you can use for any purpose inside of your checkout forms, but we're going to use it for the terms and conditions. So there's two appropriate components. Uh, one of them is the switch. This is actually really cool. So let me go ahead and add a switch. You can see it's added there. We'll move it in a sec. And then let's go and use the checkbox. I'm going to scroll up a little bit. Where are you checkbox? Oh, it's right there. <laughs> checkbox. So here's the two ways you can do it. Um, so what I like to do in whenever I'm working with my checkout forms, I like to click on this icon here to see a list view of everything. And you can see here's my switch. Here's my radio. I'm sorry, my switch and my checkbox. Let's go ahead and move it to the bottom. To do it really quick, you could just literally click and drag it all the way to the bottom. And there's my checkbox. Let's go ahead and click on the switch and let's move that to the bottom as well. So you can see them side by side. So there you have it. This is what a switch is. It's basically switched or a checkbox. People are mostly used to a checkbox, but switches are kind of cool. So I'll actually click on the switch right here and let's click the three dots and let's remove the switch. Let's go ahead and use the checkbox. So with all of our components, when you click on it, there's going to be a bunch of options on the right for it. So for the checkbox, we can make this required. And then right here, we give it a name. This is what's going to be saved with the order. And when someone checks it, uh, what is the value that's going to be added? So let's go ahead and customize these. So what I entered in was agree to terms and for the value I put yes. So this is what will be saved with the order if the buyer checked it and they're going to be forced to actually check this or they're not going to be able to check out. So we have this record of them agreeing to the terms. Now, if you want to make it easy, I don't know the legalities of it, but you can make this check by default if you wanted. That's completely up to you. So now let's actually customize where it says checkbox and add a hyperlink. And this is also very easy. So I can click on it. Let's double click. And now the word is completely highlighted. So now I'm going to start typing. Uh, what is it? Uh, do you agree? There we go. Do you agree to our terms and conditions? Uh, we could put the amper stand there. That looks very official who are terms and conditions. And so what you could do is decide what part is has a hyperlink. Is it the entire bit of text or just a portion of it? So uh, I should actually probably go and copy the link of the terms and conditions on the site because I'm going to need to 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 paste it in. Here I am on the pages. It looks like I don't have a terms and conditions page. So uh, I'll go ahead and create one and let's uh, use it. So here's a new page and let me type it in. Perfect. Terms and conditions. I'll click on publish. I'll click on publish. Let's view this. There's going to be no content there. So definitely make sure you add some terms and conditions. I'm going to go ahead and copy this link into my clipboard. Wonderful. Let's go back into our form. So I'm going to have it be, um, let's just highlight the whole thing. You can do that easily by double clicking. It's all selected. And then we have this option right here that says link. So when I click on it, I can search for that terms and conditions page or paste in the link. So actually, let's just do a quick. So oh, there it is. Terms and conditions. So I can click on it and perfect. So now this will should be a hyperlink if I did that right. When I click on it, you can see. Yep, I did do that right. Whew. OK, perfect. And you might want to have it open in a new tab. That would probably be better. All right. So let's go ahead and click on update. And so now we have this new option on the checkout form. So let's go take a look at it. So I do have a page right here that says website packages. And this has the form. Oops, I actually want to see it on the front of the site. There it is. And when I scroll down, perfect. And there it is. So I can check the box and let's see when I click on this. It opened in a new tab and took me straight to the page. This is exactly uh, what I wanted. And then I can check the box. And there's also the the red asterisk right here that will 
let your buyer know that they have to agree, they have to check this, and then they can click on it and actually be taken over to the terms and conditions to check it on out. That's all there is to adding checkboxes that have links or switches that have links to take your buyer to places and ask them to agree to things. Very easy, no code required. It's all visual, drag and drop. All of these components for the checkout form are super flexible and easy to use, and they all have unique and specific options to make it very easy to work with. We like to make things easy here at Surecart because why should we make them hard? We want to be in the business of making them easy. So thanks for watching this video and we'll see you in the next one.